Welcome to I Love the Library. Today I'd like to talk to you about classic books. Somehow when I was in high school and college, I missed having to read The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Sollinger. Working here at the library, I help a lot of students find this book for school. So I thought, well, I wonder what I missed. So I decided I was going to read The Catcher in the Rye. And it turns out it's a coming of age book about a young man whose name is Holden Caulfield. He's 16 years old. And the book opens up with him being expelled from his third private school. It turns out he actually flunked out. He um, only passed English. That was the only class he passed. Um, starts out, he goes to visit a teacher to say goodbye. And the teacher, of course, is trying to figure out what is going on with this young man. Well, of course, Holden Caulfield is real flippant. Um, the only theme that he continually brings up is that he doesn't like phonies. So he goes um, back to the dorm after visiting this teacher and he gets in a fight with his roommate. He, it's over a girl actually. He ends up with a bloody lip and um, he decides that he's going to leave school early. It's actually two days before Christmas vacation and um, at that time he was supposed to go home to his parents. Well, he decides to pool all the money he can get a hold of. He sells his typewriter to a fellow student. He takes the money in himself, and he decides to go to New York City. Now, up until this point, I really couldn't figure out what time frame this book was set in. Um, at one point, I thought maybe it was the early 60s. And then as I kept reading, once he got to New York City, it started to become kind of obvious that it was definitely earlier than that. Um, he d decides to go to some bars, and he didn't have any problems getting into the bars, which was surprising. Um, but it was obvious that he expected to be served liquor when he actually was in the bars. Well, the first two bars wouldn't serve him liquor. Um, he ended up drinking Coke. But the third bar he went into, they served him liquor. And um, it, it was obvious throughout the book that um, Smoking cigarettes was a lot more acceptable than it is today. Um, just about everybody in the book was smoking. Um, we got to the point where he mentioned his older brother being in World War II, and then it kind of became obvious that the book was set in the late 40s. Um, he ends up deciding to run away. And to tell you the truth, I can't even give away the end for you because I haven't gotten that far yet. But I'm kind of glad I picked the book up to find out what I was missing. If you've missed some um, classics, it's never too late to, to pick them up and, and find out what it was that you did miss. I went to the shelves here in, De in the Detroit Lakes Library and just grabbed a few of the classics that we have on our shelves. I couldn't grab them all because, of course, they were way too many and it would have been way too heavy. So here is what I found. I found uh, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. I found Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. This one is The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Other Tales by Washington Irving. This one is Dr. Zhivago by Boris Pasternak. And this one is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. So if you feel that you missed some of the classics, um, come on into the library. And don't worry if your classic isn't in this grouping here. If we don't have it on the shelves in the Detroit Lakes Library, we'll be happy to send it in from another library for you. So I hope to see you at the library.